Right. The problem I'm having right now is that I have to be, I have to keep the camera between me and my subject while filming because I'm not really sure when my subject is in focus or if I still have charge left in my battery and if everything's in center and so on. And I have this LCD left over from another project. It was actually bought as a Chinese seven inch display. It's black with those chrome buttons. And I'm planning on using this as an auxiliary output while filming because I got this with my camera, these cables. So I think it should be possible. And I'm going to design and print um, a housing for this circuit for the LCD controller and some hook like things to keep everything. So to keep the housing on the LCDs on the back of the LCD. And it would be ideal if I could also use this tripod to hold it like so. See my problem? Can't really see what the hell. And it's not in focus, so see? Right. This isn't a metric thread. I mean, maybe it is, but it's coarse. So what I've done is this comes with this uh, disc nut, disc shaped nut. And I've actually cut a part off and then filed some slots or faces so I can drill two holes and then fix it to the housing. And it should be something like this. Because if I wouldn't have sawed this off, then the housing would have, have had to be really tall, like this. A lot of printing. My initial plan was to actually use these two connectors for power. I'm planning on powering it from this LiPo. And the problem with that is I don't have an RCA connector, which is panel mount, or whatever that's called. But, and I am using this XT60 connector for the LiPo, of course. Uh, so, this would have posed a problem while designing the housing. The issue would have been, so this is a really stiff connector. It's really hard to push in and then remove. So, that would have put a lot of stress on the housing. And maybe it's a better idea to just do it something like this. So. I have a hole somewhere and then the two connectors could just hang out with their cables. It's not elegant, it doesn't look good, but at least I won't break the housing while connecting and disconnecting it. Now when designing something like this, I think it's a good idea to just break it down into the break down the project into what functionality it needs to have. So the first thing is it needs to cover this circuit board. That means I'll make a box. I need access to it later. So the box will have to have a lid and then two screw holes, screw points to hold the lid on. The next thing is this box needs to be fixed to this, the back of the LCD. So what I was thinking is I could uh, maybe make two sets of hooks on the upper and lower part of the screen. The thing is, so I'm using ABS, which is easy to weld or glue with acetone. And then I could print the box separately, of course the lid also separately. And the hooks would be just glued on to the side of the box. The problem here is that we don't really have that precision so that it's a snug fit that will hold it on or maybe it will break while mounting. Maybe the best way would be the lower hooks would be solvent welded to the box and then the upper ones would have like a five millimeter gap and then they could be tightened to the box with two M3 screws 
and the box would have two nut traps and the nuts would be in there so you could just tighten it down onto the LCD and if you want to take it off with an Allen wrench you could just untighten it and or adjust it. Next thing is I want it to sit on this tripod so I have to make the wall of the box a bit thicker here maybe also accommodate some nuts and of course I'll need to make some holes for the display ribbon and the backlight cables and of course power and video input so I have to make some holes maybe on this side also when measuring I have to take into account the entire height of the PCB including this big cap here and think about so I think I'm going to put the one of the screw holes here for the uh, lid of the box and then another one on the opposite corner and this is this is okay because right here I'll solvent weld this hook so no the screw won't be going through the wall of the box right let's get started a bottle of wine and a nap later I finished the design and things to note here are well, the following uh, I've used 2.4 millimeter wall thickness because I've got a 4.4 millimeter nozzle. It's always a good idea to use a multiple of your nozzle diameter to make walls because when you uh, want to make it 100% filled, you don't just use 100% infill because then you get uh, over extrusion problems. I've only printed this actually at 40% infill. All of the vertical edges have a radius of 0.8 millimeters. This is also a bit because of the same thing. Every time the extruder nozzle slows down, you get a bit of over extrusion. This kind of keeps the nozzle speed a bit higher. It doesn't have to almost stop. What I did was I actually designed and printed the housing first and then uh, sort of fitted it and then measured the remaining distances to the edge of the LCD. For the hook shaped parts it's always easier to just print one of the parts and then measure if, if you have still other parts to design. There's also the lid for the box. I used one millimeter height for a bit of alignment here on the inside. What you'll note is that these nut traps maybe weren't such a good idea because from here to here I only have 1.15 millimeters which is a bit thin. I'm not proud of that but hey it'll have to do and I've given up on using nut traps for the other screws which will tighten the hooks and the tripod mount because it was well easier and I've made this cutout for the LCD ribbon but as you'll probably notice I've forgotten to make holes for the other cables the backlight cable and video in and power. But hey, that's what drills are for. Okay, so I've printed the parts out, here they are, as you'll notice I have a couple of rejects here, lesson of the day, measure once or twice, measure twice, print once, I filed, filed down some uh, room for the cables, which I forgot to put in the CAD, I used the square file, I really love these needle files, I've got a whole bunch of them from a flea market. I keep them with a desiccant bag, which I got from one of the printer spools, right down there, and got a bunch of them 
like these. And I use the square one to just make some notches for the cables, right? Then I drilled the hole for the tripod mount, I mean the nut. I'm not really sure if this will be stiff enough because you can see it bend a bit, but we'll see what it looks like after a while and if it's wobbly on the tripod. So let's just get this assembled, shall we? First things first, acetone weld these little hooks right here, I hope. Oh, another thing. You'll notice that the tripod mount isn't centered on the, the case. Well, that's because the PCB isn't centered on the LCD, so then if you put it like this, it comes out pretty much at the middle of the screen. And this should... See, nothing's in focus. This is difficult. All right, one, the beauty of this is that it dries really quickly and it's a strong bond. This is why I love working with ABS. They look symmetrical, all right? All right. also be level. I'll just let that dry and we'll continue. The acetone dried a bit. Now we can continue assembling the thing. See here this is a bit too close. So the cables are a bit Oh, it doesn't look half bad, does it? Now, I can't tighten these screws too much because the housing will be deformed. I think it already is. You can't see that too well. Anyway, and now Maybe I should have left the acetone to dry a bit more. Oh well. And... Alright, let's solder up the connections and see if this thing still chooches, as somebody says. Alright, this is what it looks like soldered up. I may need some strain relief on these cables here. So I don't want to be pulling them out. As I said, the LiPo connector is really stiff. I mean, tight, whatever. So let's hook it up and see if it still works. And let's just turn this over. All right, still in view, good. And bam. Nice, huh? So it's a really low resolution LCD. And I doubt if I'll be able to focus with it. Well, maybe I will. Cool. Okay. Not half bad. This means I can get started on filming the Half-Life turret series. Yes, I'm making a functional Half-Life 2 turret or sentry gun or whatever it's called. It'll be mostly 3D printed. And 
controlled by Raspberry Pi and it should incorporate motion detection and LEDs, yes, LEDs. Well, that's it. Don't forget, measure twice, print once.